Alright everybody, and welcome back to the Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth Let's Play. Got a bit bored today, so I decided why not do another episode. Um It's just taking ages to load, um uh, Hopefully the audio won't be as much of a problem as it was last time. Resolution still at 1024 by 768, so... The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. It's a room used for developing photographs. So it's still gonna take ages to render, but... I don't know, for some reason I didn't feel like dropping it down. Nothing of interest. Yeah, just newspapers. Just do a little sneaking in here, I guess. Try to be a little safe. The door's bolted shut. The door's bolted shut. So now I gotta find a way in there. See, I don't think I have any inventory items to break into there. The door's bolted shut. The window's smashed. I can see what looks like an old dark room. Hmm, wait a minute. Logically, this shouldn't work because... Right. The door's bolted shut. It's a bolt, not a... The police clearly don't want me snooping around. I need to be more careful. Hmm. Well, at least it wasn't like uh, one of those games where they end up killing you for sneaking around. It won't open. I'm going the wrong way. Don't budge. It's dark. I can't see that door. I can't see if there's a door there or not. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't say as I noticed what you're saying, stranger. Should be safe. Okay, 
That's a good place to hide. I don't remember. Who's there? Shit. It's a room used for developing photographs. It's unlocked. Okay. All right, that's good. Assorted paperwork, but nothing of any real interest. Aha. These shelves look light enough to push. like I need some sort of lifting handle to get it open. Hmm. The store may be low on stock, but it's immaculately kept. Now I need a, some sort of hook. The glass has been broken, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Strange. Closer look at that. Nothing of interest. It won't budge. The store may be low on stock, but it's immaculately kept. The till's empty. Looks like the door was forced open, and there's scratch marks on the wood. Typewriter. Invoices and receipts. Nothing of interest. There's a bottle of bootleg rum and a wooden handle. Well, that sounds like it should do the trick. The drawer is empty. Anything here? The store appears to have been doing quite well under Brian. Hmm. A store of the year poster. Huh. It seems Brian had a lot of pride in the store. Stock reminders and general notices. Nothing of interest. Oh shit. Right. Need to hurry up here. Sounds like they're trying to break in. I wonder how 
probably could have found out that it was in here. Maybe because Jack keeps talking to himself. Shit, go down the damn ladder! Well, that's one way to do it, I guess. Interest here. A bunch of picture frames. Another med kit. Hmm. You know, you'd, you'd think you'd be a little more hurt falling down that uh, ladder like that. Assorted foodstuffs. Nothing useful. Feel the air through holes in the brickwork here. There's gotta be some way to knock it down, I'd imagine. Clumsily tipping in over a ladder seems to do the trick. Oh. No. Get over here. That's not right. The cellar's filled with human remains. These people must have died a long time ago. Uh, there's no way to close this gate either. I'm not too happy about that. Here's the dark room. There are some issues of the Innsmouth Courier lying here, and they're dated 1846. photographs. 
old photos of Innsmouth, most of them have faded beyond recognition. Old photos of Innsmouth, most of them have faded beyond recognition. Hey, you already said that. Wait. Huh. How did that get past QA? Look at this. This vent is obviously floating off the wall. The old printing press appears to have been sabotaged. Hmm. Nothing there. Nope, nothing of interest. Hmm. Not even this newspaper? Nothing of interest here. Okay. Then. General notices. They're all dated 1846. Nothing of any real interest. Holy shit! Okay. Can't see anything of use. Um. Ah, from the stench in here, this noose broad must have kicked it a few months back. Here, the heart's beating. Nope, nothing important here. I can't imagine there's anything important in this room, so... Let's just close it. Stay the hell out. The door's bolted shut. Oh, that's the exit door, is it? It won't open. Hello, Jack. Oh. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Hmm. Well, at least there isn't somebody that wants us to die. Yeah, hopefully I don't have to sneak around. Okay, whatever that thing up there was, it's pretty 
weird. Hello. Oh, the hell are you turning around on me for? This town's deserted. Where is everybody? I reckon you might have scared them off with that ugly face of yours. <laughs> yeah, says the man with... Is this Where is everybody? Guys? It's very yeah, the quiet. Man with gills on if you side. don't like it, just turn around and leave. I'd like it better if you assholes would answer a question. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. I can't be seen talking to you. Yeah, I think at this point we're supposed to head into here. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. I never heard of no Burnham. This creepy, dark, dank hotel. Hello, Gilman. What are you wanting now? Strange thing about that Burnham lad. Burnham? Kent Riley says I know what you're talking about. That's odd. He was all over the Arkham Press. Must have been a bit of a local scandal. Them's matters for the police, stranger. Innsmouth's not a town for rumoring and talking. Talking to that fellow's a waste of my time. Supposed to go here yet? I don't know. It won't budge. It won't open. It's not important. Doesn't appear to be anything. Wait, it's a long book. No, it's not glowing. glowing a dusty so assortment boring. of old books. I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. He worked in the First National. I'm a friend of the family. I ain't heard of no Burnham lad. Right. Okay, so I guess I gotta wander about town a little more. It's a variety store, and it's closed. How about this guy? What happened here, Constable? Nothing. Oh, swell. You can let me pass, then? No. You'll have to go another way. Wonderful. It's locked. It's locked. It must lead to the back of the variety store. Okay, I'm guessing I have to find another way around. It won't budge. Not entirely sure. Just know I gotta go somewhere. It won't open. Nope, not there. It won't open. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. You're in the wrong place, asking the wrong questions, outsider. Hmm. I don't think that's visible on the recording. Recent company established 1898 or something like that. Haulage. Eh. Hey, a woman. Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight, this port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, Miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Walters. This doll seems more open than some folks around these parts. 
but she isn't going to talk to me right now. Hey, Jack, I think she can hear you. It won't budge. Can't go there. I'm looking for Brian Burke. Please, stop bothering me, stranger. Oh, there's the refinery where that one other guy went. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store, a rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty, but I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is going to crack this case. We got one thing done. It won't open. This is annoying as shit. There is literally nothing going on here. It should be taking up this much processing power. I have to defrag this computer or some shit. This is just oh annoying. god. Some poor souls hung herself. about the break-in at the variety store. Only what was in the press. You should speak to Thomas Waite. He owns the joint. Where's his place? I think the Waite's house is over on Dock Street, near the back of the pool house. Thanks. Though I warn you, it's Miss Driven Old Waite's a bit crazy. He doesn't talk a lot of sense. That's my sort of fella. He sounds just perfect. I suppose that doesn't really have a whole lot of relevance to the lady that hung herself in the basement down there, but maybe she'll know something? Hey, you. Hello again. Mr. Walters. Look, miss, I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. <laughs> Can you at least tell me if you knew the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Look here, Mr. Walters. I can't answer your questions, and your harassment is putting us both in danger. Please, leave me alone. In danger? From whom? The Order. Now go! She isn't going to tell me anything useful right now. Alright, so I guess the Haynes is just going to remain a mystery. These posters are everywhere. This is Robert's books. Do you know the Burnham lad? He works I've never heard of no Burnham. It won't budge. Well, I guess sales on books are pretty bad. A storage seller for one of the stores. Let's see if Jack has anything new to say about this. Why the hell hasn't she been taken down? It's no wonder the town's deserted. Why the hell hasn't she been taken down? Oh god, the body's moving up there. Get the hell away. Wait, automobile It cables. won't open. It's useless talking to these people. This car's seen better days. I'd say. A device that pumps highly compressed air. It won't budge. Love these gas pumps. A standard gasoline pump.
It won't open. Um, this update's gonna be largely wandering around because I don't really know. The store is closed. Entirely where to go. It won't budge. Or what to do. Another cellar. Pitch black. Drunk over here. It won't budge. Pennies, young mister. I can give you something for your generosity. Who are you? Zadok, that be my name, though too few years it now. Zadok Allen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a young'un. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? Ye just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Well, luckily for you, Zadok, get a bottle of bootleg rum. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor and lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. Mm. Ah. Old Captain Mobit where it all begun. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet, till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. Was a massacre. The jail thrown open, mounds of the dead and the dying, <gasps> shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were knowing what was good for us. Sadok. Who did all this? Who did all this? Except the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. 
What the hell are these oaths? You just that old waste about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see, for definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Fight, but the winds which shower our yale it won't budge. shall never scare the mariner. It won't budge. Okay, he's just singing. Well, I think for this episode, I'm going to uh, find us. Hold on. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you going to even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly. We don't have much time. You've got to follow me. Okay, then. Jack. Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. <laughs> well, obviously she didn't... Hey! Was that teleport really necessary then? I mean, it was like right here. And, oh, God. Ah, this shit just keeps interrupting me today. I mean, anyways, as I was saying, it was literally right here. And it had to teleport me back to here. Well, anyways, as I was saying, I'm gonna... <laughs> save here first and foremost and this will end up being the uh, end of this episode a bit of a short one compared to the other one but you know it's gonna take ages to render anyways and uh, well unfortunately I'm gonna have to say that the, all the episodes after this one are gonna have to be in uh, 480p because this game is having trouble rendering, running on the, the system while recording, just from walking around and talking to people. When actual things start happening, I can't be having the sort of frame rate trouble. I was really expecting a, this computer to be able to run a game this old at these settings while recording. Oh well. I'll just ended off here anyways. So, uh, hope you enjoyed the short wandering uh, up update this time and uh, see you next time.